It's been an up and down Olympics for American gymnast Simone Biles as she pulled out of participation in Tokyo to focus on her mental health. But after only a short hiatus, Simone made a triumphant return and captured the bronze medal on the balance beam in what very well might end up being her final Olympic performance. Upon touching down in America in her home city of Houston, Texas, Simone had quite the surprise waiting for her. But we'll get to that in just a few moments. First, we're gonna take a behind the scenes look at the home she came back to. Her marvelous 4,000 square foot house that she purchased just last year. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Simone Biles is an American artistic gymnast with a combined total of 32 Olympic and World Championship medals. She's considered one of the greatest out there. After struggling with a bad case of the twisties, a temporary loss of balance awareness, Simone pulled out of the Olympics and has been regarded for her bravery in putting her mental health first. Most of us are well aware that Simone has the heart of a champion. In fact, it's not even a question. But does she live like a champion as well? With an estimated net worth of about $10 million, we can assume so. But you're about to find out since we're checking out where Simone calls home. Hey everyone, I'm Kara the Vampire Slayer bringing you another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and ring that bell for notifications because we post brand new videos daily. As always, you can follow me on Instagram to chat and now let's get into this video. Before we dive right into Simone's newest digs, I thought we'd take a quick look at the house that helped turn her into the winner she is today. Back in 2017, Simone Biles' childhood home, the very place she grew up in, was put on the market and sold for around $250,000. And once you see this place, you'll believe me when I say that whoever scooped this home up must have got a massive deal. Not only is it a particularly large 3,711 square foot of space, but it features four bedrooms, three and a half baths, vaulted ceilings, wooden floors, a gas fireplace, and even a games room. Meanwhile, on the outside of the place is a practical covered patio for entertaining that also houses a built-in gas grill. Seriously, doesn't this place just look picturesque? It's no wonder that Simone grew up to become such a success story. This home looks like they're the kind of place where dreams really do come true. And I can see why Simone was so emotional when her former house hit the market. But don't feel too bad for Simone. While moving out of your childhood home is always difficult, when you see the digs Simone traded up for, you'll no doubt come to the same conclusion that I have. She made the right decision. During an interview with Uninterrupted, Simone revealed that the very first check she ever wrote went towards her down payment for her first home, a gorgeously modern abode located in her hometown of Houston, Texas. The seven-time former Olympic medalist bought the property in 2020 for what the New York Post reports was less than $750,000, and she shares it with her two French bulldogs, Lilo and Rambo. The home is designed in a contemporary cube shape with clean lines and modern finishes that provide a stark contrast to the classic brick and mortar home that Simone grew up in. In total, the stucco home has four bedrooms, as well as three and a half bathrooms. Originally built in 2019, this residence was designed with an open floor plan and comes with all the bells and whistles you no doubt expect. There were even a few more added in for good measure. So why don't we take a closer look at some of Simone's standout rooms. Let's start with the living room. It's largely decorated with white walls, wooden floorboards, and a gray couch. The nearby sliding glass doors also allow the room to be flooded with soothing natural light all day long. Most notable of all, with the red accent pillows on her gray couch, Simone has managed to tie the room together with a large red art installation piece that hangs just above the room's stone fireplace. This demonstrates that Simone is as good at balancing the feng shui of her home as she is herself on the balancing beam. Let's shoot upstairs for a second where Simone's primary bedroom is a killer suite that has dual walk-in closets, as well as a spa-like bathroom with a massive shower and a freestanding tub. And seriously, Simone couldn't look any more comfortable than when she's relaxing here. My guess is that she spends more time in that bathroom than she does in her bedroom. But hey, maybe I'm just projecting in terms of how I would take advantage of the space. 
Back downstairs, Simone's kitchen is fully decked out with white cupboards, gray marble work surfaces, as well as black stools placed strategically around the breakfast bar to allow for the most amount of space. Much like with the rest of the house, the kitchen has a modern finish and Simone has paired the pale grey tiles and silver appliances with a much needed splash of colour thanks to some cool modern artwork. With its oversized island smack dab in the middle, Simone's kitchen is a perfect place to entertain guests while still having more than enough room to function. And we can't forget about that cool light installation up top that features dark lampshades matching the leather chairs under the breakfast counter. However, the coolest detail of all in this room is definitely the outdoor brick facade that frames her kitchen's sliding doors. Is it an homage to her old family home? Well, it certainly looks like it. Speaking of the outside, let's step through those kitchen doors right now and take a look at the space where Simone has had the most work done on her new home. Along with some contemporary outdoor furniture for her garden that features a unique swinging seat table setup and a gigantic retro inspired egg chair, Simone has completely rehauled the yard. Since moving in, the Olympic star has made sure to make the grounds of her property a sanctuary to say the least. The largest addition has got to be her in-ground pool that also features a raised hot tub level and is worthy of bragging. The entire space is surrounded by a lush green lawn with trees as well as a wooden fence. There's also a small outdoor kitchen for those Houston summer nights that are perfect for having friends over for a good time. And because her pups mean so much to her, Simone even had a dog wash station installed to ensure that Lilo and Rambo are always getting the necessary TLC they deserve. I feel like that's something I would do for my pups along with any other amenity they would need to feel spoiled because why not? Finally, before we go, I thought I'd just take a moment to make us all feel good. Remember how I mentioned off the top that despite capturing a bronze medal, this past Olympics was pretty up and down for Simone? Not only did she drop out for a short period of time, but prior to her arrival in Japan, her aunt became sick and passed away unexpectedly as well. So needless to say, Simone has been going through a whole gauntlet of emotions these past few months. But when she finally touched down back home in Houston, Texas, Simone found an entire parade waiting for her. That's right, the citizens of Houston, Texas are so proud of their homegrown superstar that they wanted to show her just how thankful they are for her many sacrifices and they showed up in full force to throw their support behind her. And as happy as that made Simone when she finally got to see Rambo again, she was even happier. After a sight like that, I highly doubt that Simone ever considers calling any other city home. And I mean, with a home as nice as hers, why would she ever want to? Alright, I think we can wrap up this Simone Biles house tour right there. I gotta say, after checking out her gorgeous home in Houston, the athlete has done super well for herself, especially at the young age of 24. But it's all well deserved to say the least. What was your favorite aspect of Simone's home? I think the grounds in the backyard were my favorite because it looks like she's outfitted the space to boast everything she needs and more. Even anything her pups need. Be sure to let me know what you liked or didn't like about Simone's home down in the comments. My name is Kara and if you like this video then please like and subscribe. If there's someone else you want to see profiled on this series then drop some names down below. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!